Hello everyone! I hope that you're doing amazing wherever you are in the world. My name is Boom Shaka and I welcome you to my channel. As always, I'm so grateful that you're listening, subscribing and commenting. I really appreciate the support. In this one, I want to answer a question that a viewer asked recently about masks and authenticity. And the question was basically, you know, how can we as individuals, as INFJs, as introverts, wear a mask in the world, which is something that we have to do, it comes automatically, automatically to us, literally. So how can we wear a mask in the world but still maintain our authenticity? Really good question, obviously, I mean, brilliant. Uh, this is something that, um, how are we going to play the roles that we are it's necessary in the world that we live in right now or in general I would say in general it is necessary to play a role put on a mask pray, play a role play games do all those things until and unless you're completely comfortable with yourself and you are completely able to be on your own and never have to put on a mask because you don't have to do that anymore until you reach that point which I feel like <laughs> would be at Nirvana or enlightenment until you reach that point you have to move to the world and you know put on masks to deal with certain people remove certain masks to deal with certain other people you know it's just a constant game of okay what mask am i am i gonna what role am i gonna play today you know who am i meeting today oh i'm meeting this person and that person okay cool so this is the person that i played this role with and that's the person that i played that role with and so we kind of just kind of constantly are in that motion of removing mask taking off a mask putting on a different mask taking off that mask and that's not necessarily, I don't think, a bad thing. It's only a bad thing when you kind of forget in all of that mask putting on, putting off, taking off, all that stuff. You forget who you really are truly underneath all of those masks. Because there's someone underneath all of that, some true person, some true self of yours, that's there. And she or he or they are always there, no matter what's going on in the world, they're always the same. And I think that's one of the reasons why I'm always meditating meditating and actually recommending meditating to you is because it literally shows you that true self underneath all those masks. That's one of the main reasons why I meditate so much, especially when I'm dealing with a lot of people and especially when I'm able to see that I am putting on a lot of masks. On those days, I do extra meditations because in the meditation, when you're still, when you're silent and you're just you know, observing yourself as a witness, you see that true self of yours underneath all of those masks you put on. And that in itself kind of gives me a lot of solace and peace because I know that she is still there underneath all of the stuff that I'm doing. She's there. She's sitting there quietly, peacefully, serenity now kind of thing. You know, it's like she's just serene. She's just there and she's not affected by anything that's going on outside of her. And so it gives me peace to see her, but also gives me uh, this kind of relief that, okay, cool. Even if I put on a thousand masks, she's still there. She's still underneath all that stuff. She's still perfectly me and I don't have anything to worry about. Until or unless maybe you're not interested in meditation or you are, but you haven't gotten into it. If that's not something that you can do or want to do, then the other thing I would say, if you want to maintain your authenticity, despite wearing masks, is to spend time on your own. You don't necessarily have to meditate when you're on your own, but you need to spend time by yourself, alone, not with anything else. And if you can avoid watching TV, because TV is a very much a mask put on, on put honor. When you watch the TV, you're kind of taking on the masks and roles of other people watch who are on television. I can notice myself doing this as well. When I'm watching TV, sometimes I'll be like, when I used to watch TV, I notice sometimes I'm like taking on the characteristics of the people on the, on the show. And I'm like, what am I doing? All right, that's not me. But that's what we do. And so, you know, when you are by yourself, when you're alone in your room, try to spend a few moments, a few minutes, a few hours if possible, by yourself, not distracted by anything else, and really trying to be authentic yourself, authentically yourself. You're not, you're doing it because if you can at least spend an hour a day, half an hour a day, 15 minutes a day, just truly being yourself and without any masks and authentically being who you really truly are, then you remember that throughout the day. So, you know, maybe you wake up in the morning and you are, after a good night's sleep, you are the person that you think you are or that the authentically that you are. And so you are that person. And you, you see her, him, they, you see themselves and you're like, all right, this is who I am. I'm here. This is me. 
without any masks, without any roles, this is me, right? So you have that snapshot in your head and you can run with that snapshot, you can carry that snapshot into the rest of your day. So whenever you feel like, oh, I feel really wobbly right now, I feel unstable because I see that I'm putting on a mask and I actually don't know who I am anymore, you can kind of go back to your snapshot and you have that snapshot in your head of the person that you authentically are because you know that that's how you were when you woke up in the morning or whenever you got that snapshot. And then you can be like, all right, I know who I am. Okay, that's a snapshot. Okay, come back to the snapshot. Come back to the snapshot over and over and over again throughout the day. As you're moving through the day, you're moving through all the things you're doing, being whoever you're, whatever role you're playing, it's fine. It's not a big deal because you know that you have that snapshot in the back of your head. Now, of course, that's what the whole point of meditation is as well. And I know I'm coming back to it over and over again because this is literally the key, I believe, to authenticity is that the more you meditate, the more you realize, oh, right, yeah, that snapshot is within me all the time. I don't need to carry it in my head. She's actually sitting within me. That authentic self of mine, she's actually within me. She's there all the time. I've done so many meditations where, you know, suddenly I'll get this image of uh, a being of light sitting by a pool of water, deep, 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 deep within my heart, right? And I know that's my true authentic self. That's my Atman, if you want to call it, or my soul, or my self, whatever that word you want to use for that. She's sitting there. And you know, when I'll be meditating, sometimes I'll see her sitting there serenely by that pool of water, dark, dark pool of water. And she's there, and she's completely quiet and perfect. And that's me. That's my true authentic self. That's my deep authentic self. And so whenever I do go into the world and I'm playing all these roles and games, I am still playing them because that's how you live in the world. You can't completely get over that. I know that she's still there. So when I go back home at night and I'm in my room by myself, she's still there. And I wake up in the morning, she's still there. And you know, I go through the day and she's still there. And she's always there. And she's unchanging and unfettered, unaffected, undistracted by all of the different things that are going on around her. She's perfect. She's there. And she's always there, and she's always there as authentically as possibly possible for her, right? For me in general. And so there's nothing to worry about because you see that authentic self of yours is always underneath all of that, all those layers that you put on uh, for yourself or for you to live in this world. It's okay. That's one thing that we all do. We try to do it not as much as we do it when we're younger. So when you're younger, you're going to put on more masks because that's just the way it is. As you get older, you get more comfortable with yourself. You're going to remove some of those masks. But they're not all completely gone. I think I still sometimes walk through the world and I notice myself, oh, I'm putting on a mask right now. And so it's OK to put on a mask as long as you don't forget that that's just a mask. And there is someone underneath that mask, some authentic self of yours. And you can come back to that person every single time you want to. Actually, you can even be in a crowd of people and still be able to come back to that authentic self of yours. A lot of people are not going to do that because, of course, it's kind of confusing. but Whenever you're by yourself, whenever you're alone, you can come back to that person. And then this way, you can have, as I said, that snapshot, that person, that deep self within you to come back to every single time. In this way, you can still maintain your authenticity when you're moving through the world because you know that you're already there. You are already authentic. She's there. He's there within you. They're there within you. Whatever pronoun you use for yourself, they are there within you. They're always there. You've put on masks, yes, but they're still there underneath all those masks. They haven't disappeared. They're not completely gone. They're, st they're still there. All you need to do is realize that they're still there and just kind of be like, oh, right, that's what I am when I'm not playing all these roles, when I'm not putting on all these masks. This is who I am. And then you can just go on from there, right? And so I do recommend, especially if you are prone to putting on more masks, maybe you're younger or maybe you were uh, in a job that requires it or whatever it might be, do spend time by yourself coming back to your authentic self at least once a day at least once a day you need to do that because otherwise it gets too confusing and what happens to a lot of us is that we don't do that every single day we don't come back to our authentic self and then after a month or two or a year or two or three four five ten years of this we're like i don't even know who i am anymore that's when we have the midlife crisis or the quarter life crisis because suddenly we're like aware of the fact that we don't know who we truly authentically are but if you did that every single day, if you kind of came back to that snapshot, came back to your authentic self every single day, you wouldn't have that quarter life crisis, I believe, or midlife crisis, because you wouldn't be like, all oh, right, I don't know who I am. Well, I do. I, I've been meeting her, him, they, every single day. I know who she is. I know who they are. And so I have nothing to worry about, right? 
I hope this makes sense. I, I think that I've been dealing with this topic for so long that I feel I'm kind of ingrained into it. So it's great that you guys are asking questions like this because it kind of reminds me, oh, right, this is what I do. And then so I can talk about it because it's just so, it comes naturally to me now because I've been doing it for so long. That's all. The only thing is time. And it will come naturally to you as well as long as you give it time. And so don't worry about it. Just, just keep on doing it every single day and you'll get there too. If you have any questions about this, obviously comment below and I shall do a follow-up video. Again, thank you for the question. I really appreciate all the brilliant questions you've been sending my way. Brilliant, brilliant. Love it. And I shall see you the next time around. Bye for now.